Hi there. So we are already to day five of our prayer journal challenge. I just want to commend you for making it this far, for sticking with it, for investing in your prayer life and your relationship with God. So way to go. And we're going to dive into another exciting way to use your prayer journal today. So we're going back to what we did earlier in day two, where we're talking about letters to God. So we've done some with lists, we've done some with letters, we've written out scripture. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's mind map and how that can help you be more thorough in praying for lots of different facets of one particular issue or be prayerful and thorough in your prayers for one particular person. Today we're going back to this idea of writing out letters to God. So one of the things that I love to do is to write out prayers to God when I am having a hard time making a decision. So I'm going to be totally honest. I will let you know, I rely more on the list side of things in my own prayer journaling. I don't write out full letters, full paragraphs on a daily basis by any means. But when I'm faced with a difficult challenge, this is one area where I really like to just take my thoughts to God and put them on paper. So while I'm kind of explaining what we're going to be doing, I want you to be thinking about a question you have, an area of your life where you need some wisdom and guidance. This could range from major life issues to should we take this new job and move our whole family down to some of the basics like should I volunteer for VBS this year or something like that. Um, how should I handle this personal finance question that I've got? So any question that you have that you are feeling a little unsettled about, that you would like more wisdom in, that's what we're going to be writing in our prayer journals today. If you need like a, a sentence or a prompt to get going, it would just start with God. I really need wisdom about, and then you can fill in the blanks. And so again, you can set your own goal, whether that's just until you feel like you've written out as much as you want to write out. You can go until you've filled up a certain number of pages or just say, I'm going to do a page. Um, you could set your own timer. I'm not going to do in here, but you could set a timer and say, you know, I want to pray about this thing for five minutes, however you want to do it. There are so many benefits. First of all, we're promised in scripture that when we ask for wisdom, God is going to give to us abundantly. So yes, we are getting wisdom straight from God. It's also really helpful when we're writing things out because it's sort of giving us a chance to slow down. And sometimes while you're writing your prayers out to God about this question that you have or this area where you need wisdom, he can start directing your prayers. And so you might even find the answer to your prayers in this. So let's, let's make it a big thing. Let's make it, should I marry Johnny or not? And you're praying, dear God, please show me if I should marry Johnny. And these are all the reasons why I think I should, but I've got these concerns. And then you start talking about the concerns and you talk yourself out of marrying Johnny. That could be God's way of shaping your prayers. That's probably the most extreme example I could think of. And I'm kind of guessing that not all of the prayers we're going to be doing today in this prayer challenge are going to be that monumental, but it can be the same thing. Maybe it's a question of what should I do over spring break? We could just relax and do nothing. We could volunteer our time. We could go on a vacation and you start writing these things out and you start talking to God about how busy it's been and how nice it sounds to just slow down, do nothing, and boom, there's your answer. It probably is going to make the most sense to relax and stay home. So sometimes the answer will come to us as we're writing these things out more thoroughly. Just a neat way how even though it's us talking to God, I feel like he can talk back to us by shaping the things that we're praying, if that makes sense. So it doesn't always happen that way. You might not get a definitive answer, but the act of writing it out is still going to help pave the way for that answer to come down the road, even if it doesn't happen instantaneously. So again, today's assignment that we're going to be doing is just starting a letter to God where you start with just saying, God, I really need wisdom about this and talk to him about it and see where that prayer takes you, whether it takes you to a place where you definitely feel an answer or maybe you don't have an answer, but you have more peace about it. Or maybe it's just waiting it out and knowing that like God promised, when you ask for wisdom, he is going to give it to you. So that is what we're doing today. And I will see you tomorrow.